Hi again, everybody. I'm Smart Ed, and it's time for another Smart Ed TV top tip. We have one of our field training specialists, Smart Certified Matt Farrell, is here with a tip that will help math teachers, right? That is right. Okay. And actually, this tip is actually a little tool that's called Interior Angles. Interior, can you say that five times fast? Uh, no, but I can say it three. Interior, okay. interior, interior. All right. Interior angles. Slide the, we're going to slide the picture up there. We'll put the desktop down there and get right. the, uh, bring, show me some interior angles. Interior angles is actually pretty slick, and it's actually easy to do. And it's a part of the math tools add-on module. So with that in mind, if you have your math tools add-on module in place, we simply are going to add a page by pressing my green plus sign. Now, and to, just to show a little bit of a demonstration so you get a feel for what it looks like, I'm going to go up to my Shapes tool and choose my rectangle and make just kind of any kind of generic shape. Just I want you to see how this works. Choose my Select tool and my Notebook toolbar. Now I'm going to select my object, which happens to be my shape, and I'm going to use my drop-down options menu, which is actually in the upper right-hand corner. I'm going to come down here to Show or Hide Interior Angles. So I'm going to show my interior angles, and as soon as I choose that, this is what we see. It's actually a comp all of the interior angles at each one, in this case, happens to be each one of those corners. That's pretty slick. Now, and we can do it one more time, and then go to my Shapes tool. This time we'll choose a triangle. Make a triangle, keep it right there. Go up to my Notebook toolbar, choose my Select tool. And again, I'm selecting my shape. Right. I want to go to my drop-down options menu and... Show interior angles. Thank you. And, and there's there. my interior angles. All right. So uh, uh, now we're going to do it one more time. We're going to switch the images. And I have a question. What if I resize that triangle after showing those interior angles? That's a great question. Let's take a look. It's not going to break the board, is it? Uh, no, actually okay. it won't. Good. The board right. is actually capable of this. Let's oh, take... good. Okay. So now if we actually can move those shapes around, and as we are adjusting and readjusting the shape, those angles are also finding their new home, whatever wow. that number happens to be. That's, that's pretty slick. And it'll do it for, uh, now even if, all right, so if, we, if I go up to the Shapes tool, and I've, uh, we'll pick one that uh, has been modified. We've changed the color here. All right. And uh, will it still, let's see if, it, so I, I bring a shape in. I go back to the Select tool. I select the item and use the drop down. Sure. Oh, boy, that's terrible. So I'm going to go back to Undo because I didn't want to delete that. <laughs> That's a little trick there, huh? I've been paying attention to these top tips. So the drop down, don't choose cut, and instead I want to choose show interior angles, and they're still there. And they're highlighted, so even if it's a uh, red uh, color, we can still see what the numbers are. Yep, easily. Yeah. Yep. Okay. All right, well, a very useful tip for our uh, math teachers out there. Uh, yeah, and it's uh, and very easy, and it's available at your fingertips. Oh, well, very good. I'm very useful. All right. Well, thank you, Matt. You're welcome. Thank you. All right. Well, that's it for today's top tip. I'm Smart Ed, and we'll see you again soon here on Smart Ed TV.